Have you ever had the feeling of wanting to get a big goal done or even something as simple as one thing you have to get done today? It could be your homework, it could be shooting a YouTube video, it could be going to the gym or even just getting dressed and taking a shower and cleaning your room. But you just can't get it done. In this video, I'll share three big insights that I think can really make a big difference for getting things done in your life. Hey guys, it's Alex Hine over at Modern Health Monk. Before we jump into this video, I've put together a free journaling worksheet that will help you figure out how to get your dream life, what you want that to look like, and some action steps you can take to make that happen. So check it out, the link right below this video here. Now the first thing about productivity is that it's about energy, not your how-to list. And I'll give you an example. Have you ever sat down to do your homework and you sit down with the best of intentions and you think, I'm just going to get this done. And then that's it, right? But you don't do it because it's tiring, it's boring, it's hard. You don't wanna do it. Really, that's it, right? You don't wanna do it. And then there was something else hard and time consuming, like building something, right? It could be something engineering, it could be if you're a kid, a Lego. It could be something in your yard you wanna make, a fort. It could be a project in a video game, it could be, anything. It really takes time and it takes effort, but it was something you were excited about, right? Maybe you're watching a bunch of YouTube videos and something and taking notes and then sketching something out and planning something. And you thought, well, my homework would have just taken 30 minutes or that task would have been 20 minutes or five minutes, but I couldn't get myself to do that. So why is it that I can do this thing for two hours and not that other thing? I guess I'm productive after all, but in reality, what you're doing is aligned with what energizes you. So that's why I think productivity is first and foremost, not about getting things done like a technique, but it's more about what you're doing because it will always be easier to do something you love than to force yourself to do something that you don't wanna be doing. So rule number one is follow your energy. Now for some quadrants of life like exercise, that's hard, but there are ways to do it still. Like for example, if you find yourself wanting to get fit, what is the highest energy alignment way to get fit? I hate running. I'm never going to run. On a day where I haven't slept enough or slept well, I sure as shit, I'm not gonna go for a run. So what should I do? The kind of exercise that I like, that I know I'll do even on a Saturday morning, which is lifting weights, because I'm lazy. So figure out what is the highest energy quotient to make that habit happen is my first piece of advice. The second thing is figuring out your core time blocks. So let's say, for example, one of your goals is to build out your YouTube channel, right? But what does that actually look like on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, one of the biggest things and biggest issues that many of us have when it comes to our goals is we don't know how to turn a big goal into a daily ritual. So let's say you wanna build a YouTube channel. You could break that into three things, like coming up with content ideas, filming, and editing. So if you know that coming up with content ideas takes you about an hour of research and thinking, then every Monday at 11 a.m. or 7 p.m., whenever you have the time, just put that time block on your calendar, content ideas strategy, right? And in the same way, if you wanna write a book, every, let's say, Friday evening, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, you time block three hours and you say, write the damn book. Cafe, write the damn book. Cafe write the damn book. So I found that actually putting time blocks on your calendar has been one of the most valuable and useful ways to actually make sure you're getting things done. So if it's content ideas, filming and editing you need, what are the three days of the week that you can plan these? Every Monday at 7 p.m., one hour, content ideas. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. after work, filming for two hours. And then every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. in a cafe, editing two hours. Time blocking your specific daily rituals is one of the best ways to turn a generic goal, 100,000 YouTube followers, into something tangible and something that is very material, which is what do I need to do today to move the needle towards my number one goal? And third, I would say to pick just two rituals. So I'll give a few different examples here. If YouTube is your thing and one of the areas you are really reaching the wall, you're getting squeezed on, is that you don't have enough ideas for videos, that every morning, your one ritual is I'm going to journal for 30 minutes about idea generation, right? I'm gonna come up with as many ideas as I can in 30 minutes, and that is going to be that. So, that's what I'll do. I'll just take 30 minutes and I'll generate 10 ideas. If you're a writer, what are the key essential rituals? I'm gonna dedicate 
just one hour a day, every single day to writing my book. And this is the exact time on my schedule, my calendar. This is where I'm going to do it. My favorite cafe, my home, this room. If we're talking about happiness, something immaterial, then maybe the one number one ritual is to never eat alone. And every time you go to get a meal or a dinner or on the weekend, you're gonna reach out to someone, a friend, and just go with them so that you're always building those social ties and that structure. So what are those one or two daily rituals that are going to make the biggest difference in your life? Think about those very closely. So this is one of those ways you go from being someone who wants to get shit done to someone who actually gets shit done. All right, guys, try those three things. Let me know how they go. Check out the free journaling worksheet below.